Hello students, welcome back. I Professor Preeti Shivate welcome you to the next session of Basic Electrical and Electronics Engineering. We are discussing about unit number 1 that is nothing but DC circuits and today's topic of discussion is Resistor and Ohm's Law. See, before proceeding to the next topic, let me clarify one very basic concept. People are very much confused with the concept of resistor and resistance. See, try to understand resistor is a name of the component whereas resistance is a concept or phenomena working behind the concept of a resistor. So, resistance and resistor are significantly different. Rather, resistor works on the principle of a resistance. Now, today's topic of discussion is resistance rather than the resistor. Now, what is resistance? Resistance is nothing but, as name indicates, resistance, it is nothing but opposition. But here it is an opposition to the flow of a current. For example, you can see that it has been represented in the format of a zigzag. That is nothing but very much look like a speed breaker because it is like a speed breaker for a current. As speed breaker slow down a traffic, here register slow down a current. So that current flow coming in towards a resistor will be controlled or we, we can say will be resisted by a resistor and that's why the name resistor. So resistor is the is defined at it is, it is nothing but one who opposes flow of current. It is the one who opposes a flow of a current. Now this is uh, the another definition of a resistor. Re resistor can be represented uh, by this particular formula. R is equal to rho L by A where rho is nothing but a specific resistivity of a material. Each material has a specific resistivity. For example, current uh, flowing through co copper and aluminium is significantly higher because the specific resistivity of a copper and aluminium is significantly less. But whereas the resistivity of a air, resistivity of a wood is significantly higher. In fact, some material are there whose resistivity is not constant and it is dependent on a, some other parameter. For example, water. Pure water is bad conductor of electricity, but if we add impurity in it, it becomes a good conductor. Means what exactly changing in that particular water is nothing but specific resistivity of a water. So specific, that is the reason why we are using a copper or aluminium uh, in a wires used in domestic application or industrial application because specific resistivity of this material is comparatively, we can say lower. Now, this row is there then l is nothing but length of this particular block you can see that it has been represented in this particular figure and a is nothing but a cross section area for example here we considered a rod and this cross section area of this particular rod is been represented by a that we can calculate with the help of pi r square if we know the uh, radius of this particular block and if it is exactly circular in a shape so this is how we can define a resistance as r resistance of any material is directly proportional to the length of material and inversely proportional to cross section area conditionally resistivity remains constant so this is the uh, we can say statement of definition of resistance and it has been represented with this zigzag symbol and represented by a uh, english letter r which represent a resistance unit of resistance is ohms this is a greek letter used as a resistance to represent uh, unit of a resistance now uh, another important thing uh, or way to define a resistance is nothing but ohms law so ohms law states that v is equal to ir rather this is a formula of ohm law it is not a statement let me clarify this is a formula of ohms law it is not a statement then how to define a statement or how to give a statement of ohms law from this formula we can say that in any resistor r in any resistor R, the current through that resistor R, that is current I, is directly proportional to the voltage applied across it, conditionally resistance remains constant. Or in fact, we can define it as the voltage drop produced across a resistance R. The voltage drop produced across resistance R is directly proportional to the current flowing through that resistor. So we can represent it like I is directly proportional to V or V is directly proportional to R. Conditionally, R remains constant. So if resistance is constant, then V is directly proportional to I or I is directly proportional to V whether when R remains constant. So these are the two way to define Ohm's law. So this is how we can state Ohm's law from a formula. Now, based on this, we already know the formula of a power P is equal to V into I and we already know that V is equal to I into R from Ohm's law. So, we can substitute in the formula of a power and we can get two more formulas of a power P is equal to I square R or P is equal to V square by R. And again, unit of power is Watt and unit of a voltage is volt, unit of a current is ampere and unit of a resistance is ohms. And that's why we can define as 1 ohm is equal to 1 volt divided by 1 ampere. So this is the definition of 1 ohm. 1 ohm is nothing but whenever to any material block when we apply a 1 volt voltage across it and if it produces a 1 ampere current then we can say that resistance of that particular material is 1 ohm 
resistance. So this is about and two different way to define n power and we can substitute that particular formula in a formula of a energy also e is equal to power into time. So we already know the formula of a power and we can substitute both these particular in the formula of energy to derive an another way to define an energy. Again unit of energy is joule. So this is uh, about an Ohm's law concept of resistance concept of resistor and another way to define an Ohm's law. That is this is the statement uh, once again I am revising voltage ac uh, produced across a resistor is directly proportional to the current flowing through that particular resistor if resistance remains constant. So this is the definition or statement of Ohm's law. I hope you understood this. In next session we will discuss about some numerical based on Ohm's law and specific resistivity of a material. Till then be safe. Thank you.